Hi, we're here at Studio A of Super Size Recording Studios near Budapest, Hungary, and we're about to start a sampling recording session for one of the most natural sounding drum sound modules ever built, which is the Drumit 5 module by Tubox of Sweden. This is Dexter. Dexter, say something in Swedish. Please. Come on, ask me something <laughs> less difficult. Okay. This is the recording room, and here is a stone room. This is our control room. So now we're gonna find the sweet spot of the drums in the room. Kam egyébként az a kedvencem, ott az a sarok. De ott a cik, de hallasz egyébként különbséget? Aha.
also we mic'd up our stone room here which will give us a really nice ambience as you can hear it we have two reasons to be here one is this drum kit because it will be great to make it available to all two box owners and the second reason is that this is going to be the first recording session for two box where we'll make three versions of the same drum kit one will be totally dry the other one with medium room ambience and the third one will be really wet and uh, the users can make their choice uh, which one to use or which one fits uh, their musical application better the first kit that we're going to record is one of my all-time favorites which is a really rare PV Radial Pro 1000 which is one of the most underrated drum kits ever made they're fantastic the design is totally unique the sound is totally unique and sadly this kit has been out of production for more than 10 years now this wooden hoop here is called the radio bridge which takes all the tension all the tension rods are attached to it the mounting hardware is attached to it so this design allows to build very thin three ply all maple shells which can resonate totally freely so once you hit the drum the impact of the drumstick and the movement of the drum head will make this very thin shell resonate much faster than uh, uh, normal drum shells and it's not just a concept it does work you'll hear the difference I'm sure for the snare drum they use a totally different concept and uh, these shells are made of solid wood blocks they are this thick as you can see and they have a really amazing punch very crispy sound I love this snare drum too uh, a quick word about the tuning and because we have five toms here and uh, the drum it 5 module has only four slots for toms if someone prefers higher tuning you can use the first four toms you know 8, 10, 12, 14 inch if someone prefers lower pitches you can start with a 10 inch and uh, use the 16 inch uh, as the lowest one and you obviously can expand the number of tom slots by assigning a tom sound to a cymbal slot i'll try to tune them as wide as possible so the 16 inch is tuned really low and the 8 inch is tuned really high so that the pitch range of the kit would be as wide as possible okay beside the drum kit we're going to record uh, set of symbols as well and it will be the fusion series of Turkish symbols which are made in Istanbul, Turkey they're really beautiful acid washed hand hammered symbols with a very dark and dry tone I'll have a 22 inch ride a 16 inch china a 19 inch crash a 17 inch crash a 20 inch china and a 14 inch hi-hat the two china symbols will be recorded in a stack as well I'll place a smaller china below the 16 inch one and a 10 inch bell below the 20 inch one Okay, so I'm done with the editing and the kits were tested both on stage and in the studio and I'm perfectly happy with the result. But before I'll show you how these kits sound, I'd like to add a few thoughts to this constant debate on electric versus acoustic drums. Yeah, I've been using both acoustic and electric drums on stage for several years and I noticed something really funny. When I play this drum, uh, most people say, yes, uh, this is how a drum should sound. When I play this pad, they immediately notice how unnatural the electric version sounds and it sounds like plastic. Then, 
how about this? It seems that many people listen to the drums with their eyes. And whatever has the shape of a drum sounds more authentic than anything else. The only difference between these two drums is the way they look. And this difference gives some people the impression of hearing something that may not exist at all. This mic cord leads nowhere. And this drum is triggered just like this drum pad and they're both connected to the exact same sound module behind me. Obviously, this doesn't mean that there aren't any crappy drum modules on the market. It's actually packed with them. Uh, all I'm trying to say is that if you make the right choice, the gap between acoustic and electric can be narrowed more than you'd expect. As I said earlier in this video, my initial plan was to create three versions, but during the editing I decided to make four kits with different levels of room ambience and as a bonus I made a fifth kit which is the altered version of the wettest one uh, where the stone room channel is gated and this gives a more controlled sound compared to the original version. This is a fully dry kit. The second one was made with a moderate room level. The third kit has even more room sound. The fourth kit has the most room ambience of the stone room. The bonus kit is a gated version of the fourth kit, but instead of cutting off the whole sound, only the stone room channel is gated. If you like the kits and want to check them out, you can download them from my website andra enercom Please make sure to free up some space in your sound module because the files are quite big.
at the same time when we had the sampling session for these kids, I had to record a tune for the rock band that I'm playing with. And I thought it would be great to record the same tune on the electric drums as well, so that you could judge which one sounds better or more natural to you. I asked our guitarist to replace the vocals with some guitar lines uh, so that the Hungarian lyrics wouldn't distract you too much. But then it occurred to me uh, that I've seen too many people listening to the drums with their eyes, so I decided to make it a little more difficult for you. I played the songs on both kits, but the changes of the video clips won't be in sync with the changes of the audio. So sometimes you'll see me playing the acoustic kit while the sound will come from the electric version and vice versa. And sometimes the video and audio will come from the same source. Also, the electric kit was made of the samples of the same acoustic kit that you'll hear in the acoustic version. The two kits will sound slightly different. Uh, because the acoustic version had different mixer settings for that particular song and also because some of the acoustic cymbals were different between the two sessions and uh, they were recorded in a different uh, recording room. But that's no problem because the whole point of this demonstration was not to try to make the electric version sound identical to the acoustic but to see if you'll find any version less authentic than the other one or not. I'd like to read your impressions on my Facebook page or in email. Uh, have fun and thanks for your attention. <laughs>